This is Admiral Faultline to the crew of the Starship Jefferson. Gentlemen and lady and current Little Miss Deckhand, I've had you all assemble together on the deck to hear this message, my last message as commander. As you all know, the evil forces of Sucker have been defeated, good has triumphed over evil, and the contributions of the Jefferson Starship will not be forgotten. And I mean you guys, not the band Jefferson Starship. They had nothing to do with this, okay? Nothing. In order to maintain the balance of power and remain vigilant against our common enemy, the Ronin Force has been reformed. And unfortunately, I can't take any of you with me. I Believe me, I tried, I begged. But the Ronin Force Charter has a very strict no monkey policy. In fact, if you look at the charter, it's literally the first thing you read. Right at the top, they couldn't be more clear. And that's a shame. And so it is with a heavy heart that I demote myself back down to the rank of Major and resign my command of the Jefferson Starship. Once again, that's the Starship and not the band Jefferson Starship, okay? God, Lieutenant Bojangles, please step forward. Have you stepped forward? I can't, I can't see what you're doing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep going and assume you've stepped forward. And if you haven't, you look like the asshole, not me. Bojangles, you're the best goddamn monkey I've ever had the honor of serving with. You're better than Chewbacca, way better. You're even better than that monkey Clint Eastwood hung around with in the 80s. They made a few films together. He sucks compared to you. I think it would be fair to say that I love you. Not in a sexual way, and, but not like a pet. Something deeper and purer. Having said that, it is without reservation that I hand off the command to Jefferson Starship to you. And once again, to be clear, not the band Jefferson Starship. I don't know who's in charge of that. I'm giving you the actual Starship, Jefferson Starship. It's pretty simple. You do have my full permission to use all of the ship's resources to search for that banana planet you've always talked about. I know I've been critical. I've said there's no such thing. I know I've said that a planet entirely made of bananas, with a population of people entirely made of bananas, and a complete banana-based economy simply couldn't work logically. Uh, for one thing, it would be cannibalistic. They would be banana cannibals, bananables. But you know what? It's not the point. Who am I to judge what does or doesn't exist or what could or couldn't exist or what's even ethically wrong or right in a banana-based society? I don't know. Maybe Stephen Hawking does, but I doubt it because he's a liar. You know, let's put that aside. I bid you all a farewell, and I wish you all the greatest success. I assure you, I'll never forget any of you. Every time I look up into the stars on a clear night, I'll think of you. Whenever I and Ronan Force are battling injustice or iniquity, I will think of you. And whenever I see a YouTube clip of a monkey fingering its butt and then smelling its hand, I'll definitely, definitely think of you. God bless. Farewell, my friends. That was nice. They'll be dead in a month. Monkeys don't have thumbs. Monkeys have thumbs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of dolphins. Dolphins will be dead in a month.